Hey, what's up, my Cool Like Dad peeps? It is me, your Cool Like Dad Asian in the house. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I feel a whole and look a whole lot better, people. Last week, I was dying, and I, I do apologize about the snot, about the um, sounding just awful last week, and came on video to show you guys my ugliness. But <laughs> I just wanted to come see you. But uh, this past weekend, Andre and I, we did a lot of movie watching. We did a lot of movie watching. Uh, I'm still feeling a lot of, uh, a little congested, but not as much as I was a couple days ago. So I feel a lot better. Uh, yesterday, we, we we went to Blockbuster and we got this movie, for, um, Bridesmaids, from Blockbuster. And they had this special. They uh, you pay seven fifty, and usually it's fourteen ninety nine. But they had the, the special. You get one movie, two ninety nine, and you pay seven fifty. And you just keep bringing back the movie that you're watching over and over until October 23rd. And you keep bringing it back, bringing it back, bringing it back as much as you want. And it was like crazy because I got, we already got like two or three movies that we saw from that. We saw Frozen. Frozen was okay. It was those kids were, um, was going up the ski lift and all of a sudden um, it was closing time and they wanted to go up the ski lift one more time and they go up the ski lift and then all of a sudden boom power goes off everybody leaves and they don't um, they're stuck there for a, about a week well they're they're gonna be stuck there for about a week and they're trying to uh, figure out a way to get down to to get get to get help and everything like that so they stay up there and they're all frostbitten and one guy dies and um, another guy dies and there's wolves and all this and this crap it was a good movie but not really <laughs> if i had to rate it from a one to ten i would rate it a five because it was an interesting concept but it was very predictable you know so but we got this movie bridesmaid yesterday it was funny and people were saying to go watch it, see it, if you guys want to see a funny movie. We saw, a, we, we rented it. And it was okay. It was okay, and, but I just said Hangover was a lot better. And if you guys were playing with my Twitter or sitting on my Facebook, <laughs> I, I said something about Hangover being better. And, of course, a female <laughs> just said, no way, Hangover. It was much better than Hangover, and I really think it's more of a gender thing because I could relate. Andre and I could relate more to the Hangover than we did with Bridesmaids, and I don't know. Bridesmaids was more of a girly type of movie. It was great. It was good. It wasn't great. It was good. Okay, but I liked Hangover better because the, just the jokes kept on going and going and going. I know some people don't like Hangover. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> And then we watched um, football yesterday. I, a lot of the underdogs uh, won. Like Buffalo Bills beat the Patriots. Uh, who else? Detroit Lions beat uh, the Vikings, which Vikings suck this year too. And who else? Who else? Who else? There was quite a big upsets yesterday. And today is the Redskins versus Dallas Cowboys. I'm sorry. I'm a Redskins fan. So I'm sorry. I live in Texas, but I'm a Redskins fan. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to Texas and still be alive after talking about the. Um, I'm not a big fan of Dallas Cowboys. And the reason for that is, is people made Dallas Cowboys America's team, which there's really not an American's team. Okay. And... Uh, it, it shows in like the NFL, ESPN, that there, there are certain teams that are very much favored. And I think it's more of money-based type of thing. I don't know. I can't say for a fact. And I know people are going to go watch it and just badmouth me for saying this. But I just feel like certain teams like the New York Jets, uh, Patriots, Eagles, they, they have very much, the Cowboys, they have much of a huge following. And the reason for that is, is because media ma makes them a big, they make a big deal off of those teams. I don't know why. I don't know why. But that's just my opinion. And I'm sure a lot of people share it. <laughs> so we'll be watching, I'll be watching the Redskins game and reporting to Andre who win uh, who's winning and everything. It should be around 2 o'clock, I think. 
around two o'clock. Yeah, so that's in a couple hours. And yeah, last night we we got to watch also Amazing Race. Amazing Race was pretty good, uh, but I hate when they do the non-elimination races. I do. Uh, and then also Desperate Housewives. I'm glad that mo that show is being taken off air now because it's starting to lose. You know how some of these shows are starting to lose their charm about them, like Hawthorne and what else? House and Desperate Housewives is one of those that is losing its charm now. So if they can get back to to that storyline of you know just how it was back then then it would be great but this is their final season we'll see what happens right and then pan am came on and andre and i i, I wanted to see it but it didn't spark my interest in the first you know how you have your first scene and then commercial in the first scene it really didn't spark my interest and i was like okay i'm just gonna turn it off andre was already falling asleep so he went to bed and you know, if anybody's seen it and they think uh, they thought it was good, let it, let me know and I'll rewatch it and see w what's going on with that. Uh, today I actually got up a little earlier than um, expected, but um, I, I spoke to my financial aid officer at uh, advisor at school. Oh, she pissed me off this morning. She re really did, people. Last week I spoke to her regarding I, I got a grant and also a loan earlier this year and I was waiting for those waiting for it to come, uh, come through and finally it came through last week so I was like okay try to, I'm trying to figure out how much I was gonna get back and then when it's supposed to come back because and then online it was telling me some something totally different so I called her back this morning and she said first week of October you'll be expecting your, you should be getting your um, direct deposit whatever it, um, into your the money into your direct deposit okay so fine I called her back this morning, letting her know, well, I see this certain amount on there. I just wanted to make sure exactly how much I was supposed to get back and when exactly am I supposed to get back. She says three weeks from now. And then she gives me a total different number, exactly how much I was supposed to get back. So I'm getting frustrated with her and she's getting frustrated because I'm asking her hard questions. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? And I hate getting cut off. People don't cut cut people off, especially customers off, especially if they're trying to explain to you what they're feeling or whatnot. But she cut me off, and that cut uh, that pissed me off. And I said, you know what? Is there anybody else I could speak to regarding this issue, or that can really explain to me this? She said, my manager. And I said, okay. So she passed me over to the manager um, to her voicemail, and I, I I spoke to her voicemail. She's supposed to call me back, so I'm waiting for her to call back. <gasps> you know, I don't get it. Um, I'm, as people know, I'm going to online classes, and University of Phoenix is one of those more expensive online classes. And if you guys are going to online classes or planning to go to school uh, in the future, my biggest, uh, my biggest advice to you guys is do your research about the schools that you're going to because University of Phoenix is one of the most expensive schools and I know if I did my research a little bit more I would have found a, a cheaper class that a cheaper classes that did the same type of um, thing and um, everything you know and I didn't have to spend uh, get so much loans to pay pay for this um, this school and what I don't get is that these these financial institutions or these education um, institution educational institutions they they're so fast on charging you the money but when it comes to trying to figure out when exactly you're supposed to get money back they don't know how, how, how to get back to you I don't know that's just my thing and when I asked my financial aid uh, my financial advisor to um, if she had any type of documentation to let me know exactly when I'm supposed to get this money or whatnot they don't have nothing and that's my biggest thing I'm like you really don't have nothing and you have this money and it's going through your through the system but you guys don't have nothing no nothing in writing to let us know exactly um, a, a time frame of when to expect this money I don't know just just baffles me uh, but you know <laughs> That's my whole thing this morning. I, I'm just waiting for the manager to get back to me so we can figure this whole, whole crap out. <laughs> because I'm done, people. I have 24 more credits and I'm ready to graduate.
I don't think I'm going to go back to school because I don't know. I'm just ready, ready, ready to graduate, get my first degree, and that's it. That's it. I can say that I would be the first. I don't know if my brother and sister graduated college, but I'll be the first sibling to actually graduate college. Right. Anyways, I will catch you guys all later. Sorry, I had to rant a little bit, but I love you, love you, love you. Bye.